Hi there, everybody. Happy Quarantine Monday, May 11th. And one of my previous lessons, or just a, I'm going to call it sharing fun time, huh? sharing with Sherry. <laughs> I talked about uh, all the basic subdivisions of a quarter note and applying different sticking patterns to them. And then, of course, encouraging everybody to orchestrate them around the drum set. Super great way to open up your phrasing ideas and solo ideas and breaking out of a rut if you're, you know, if a lot of your patterns and licks and uh, creativity uh, comes from like eighth notes or eighth note triplets or sixteenth notes. So by using all the subdivisions as an exercise, you're just really opens up your creative space and in your heart and your head. So uh, let's apply the uh, basic subdivisions again, but this time um, just as specifically related to the jazz ride cymbal pattern. Um, and again, everybody, remember any subdivision that you play against any pulse within that subdivision, you can play any other subdivision. So there's so many layers of this. And I think just a key for all of us, no matter how um, deeply we go uh, into this rabbit hole, um, we always have to know where one is or feel where one is <laughs> at a minimum. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this for you. We're going to go quarter note, quarter note, triplet. Eighth note, eighth note, triplet, sixteenth note, and I'm just going to base my jazz ride pattern, swing pattern, <clears throat> off of those subdivisions against a steady pulse. You can apply this to the drum set. You, of course, you can apply it to soloing, anything that you have. Uh, again, I keep using the word creativity, um, talking about jazz especially. That's the, the heart and soul of the music is our own individual uh, inspiration and creative output. So uh, this is just an exercise to help um, open that up, hopefully. Uh, okay, I was going to do it on my ride cymbal, but I, I played it a few times and the ride cymbal was washing out the, uh, the microphone in my phone, so I have to get some better microphones so, uh, for, the, for future videos. But anyway, here's a, this is quarter note equals 80, and uh, so here, so the basic jazz ride pattern at this tempo would sound like this, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, if anybody's interested, I always think of triplets when I'm playing this I think of you know oh do 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 I think of legato triplets okay so quarter notes everyone gets that right and here's the quarter notes continuing now I'm going to phrase my ride pattern off of a quarter note triplet so you can count that triplet triplet you can count it one two three you can count it one two three four five six it just depends on the phrasing um that you have in your mind if you want to do two against three or four against six or, you know, it's okay, with, uh, whatever. It's all okay, as long as the music comes out the way you want it. So here we go. Triple it, triple it. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah. One more time. One, uh, uh. Okay, eighth notes, everybody knows that kind of gives you double time of this pulse, right? Just riding along. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. Okay, then now let's phrase the ride trip, trip ride, ride triplet, <laughs> ride pattern off the eighth note triplet. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. I like that one for some reason. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, now here we go with um, this. I guess would be quadruple time. We're going to base it off the sixteenth note. Everybody hears that sixteenth note. Okay. And hopefully everybody can hear that pulse underneath all of this. So if you're playing a tune in this tempo, depending on where the band goes and what everybody else is doing, one would always come together somewhere in your mind. But anyway, I'll show you that one more time. It's, uh, it's, really, it's, great. It's, it's really fun to practice. I like this one. I practice this a lot. And just, again, to open myself up to some different phrasing ideas and to bust myself out of any rut I might be in, which, uh, I don't know, sometimes I definitely get in one. So here we go again. Regular quarter note pulse ride, jazz ride. Everybody hears the quarter note, quarter note triplet. Now just turn it into a ride. One, two, three, one, two, three, triple it, triple it. Eighth notes. Double or double time. Now eighth note triplets.
Okay, now 16th notes. All right, so that's it. So quarter note, quarter note triplet, eighth note, eighth note triplet, and then 16th notes. And just uh, put your jazz ride pattern in that, play time with that, play all of your time exercises, and then uh, try developing solos using those subdivisions under this pulse, but all phrased with uh, the jazz, jazz in mind. Okay, <clears throat> woo. If anybody wants to talk, or uh, woo. if anybody wants to talk over uh, about triplets, about subdivisions, about the quarantine, about anything, I love to talk. So call me or email me or something. Okay, hope everybody's safe and sane. Bye bye.